day again I am back to um, do another little video of paint pour for you um, colors I will explain the colors as we go along they are they will be the um, Montmartre studio acrylics um, but as I go I will explain them I if you're in Australia you can get any of the paints that I use and a lot and all of the products in an online Aussie um, supplier and they'll be in my drop down box there's a little V there if you press that uh, in America you can get them off Amazon we have got a, a link to that Amazon um, site on my acrylic art by Jilly Cube Facebook page so just saying and in UK you can get them off Amazon too so I'm just trying to use colors that I believe that you can all get so excited with my little um my husband did the holes a uh, drill uh, what is it hole saw he did these and then I turned it over and put my push pins in that can also get from the online supplier 10 10 for four dollars less than four dollars so I've got this great little tool that holds my cups and I don't knock them over now so very excited about my little homemade um, paint holder so anything I can use around the house rather than go and buy um, I'm really happy to be able to do that so I will get down and do this absolutely gorgeous pour that I'm going to do so there you go I've got to start off really positive haven't I so I'm going to do a pour a linear which I don't normally do but down I just want to use a few colors that I have left so this is the bright yellow I only have a little bit left look so I'm going to kind of doing it down the canvas like this like this not much left in this one so I've just finished my Halloween pour so um, and I should go back inside and start making some dinner for my husband and I uh, but it looks like he's making it so I'll stay out here just pretend I'm busy <laughs> okay um did I, you know i'm going absolutely crapped i meant to use that yellow for the swipe but i've done it now i've put it in i'm going potty i'll tell you okay i'm gonna go the so i'm gonna go citrus so with we've, we've got the lemons in there and this is the orange currently using the um, Montmartre Studio Acrylics which I love, love, love. Okay, probably could do with a little bit more of that. This is random remember because I'm going to tilt it around but I will swipe from this top corner all the way down um, on this one. And as you, if you watch any of my pores, I don't like to leave a blank area for where I swipe from because I don't like it to be just the swipe color underneath. I like to see the other colors underneath. So what are we going to put a, I'll go the, um, this is the Montmartre turquoise in the two liter of studio acrylics, which I love their turquoise because you can really change it up or change it down like by putting a bit more blue in it sends it more teal uh, white or send it paler turquoise I love um, the aqua and yellow together I love aqua and the um, or the turquoise and orange together so lots of people seem to have trouble with colors what put together but as i say don't stress over them it's just color um yeah it shouldn't feel you know stress because just color and it will look good and if not what is it you've just got to scrape some paint now can you believe i had white made up and i took my 
damp cloth off the top of my paints that I cover my paints with and it flicked one tiny weeny bit of blue into the cup of white but look it turned it a really nice shade of baby blue but I did just wanted to put a bit of white in here which is now baby blue and I feel like I definitely have to throw a darker colour in there um, depending on what colour I swipe it with um, I think I would like to add navy a little bit of the well it's actually um, I've just got this and I'm so excited with the um, the Montmartre phalo blue that's what it is it's the studio 2 litre the $29 Australian um, I'm not sure what they are American uh, but they sell those on the Amazon in the US and the UK but that in Australia we've got that Aussie online site that sell them and I really good service and you get your paints on you know as quick as they possibly can and look at this this will lift this now those colors are just divine they look quite candy here but I've got to really give it some thought what I will swipe with so as it doesn't look too candy-ish see this kind of colors would definitely sell where I'm living because I'm close to the ocean the beach well probably 20 minutes drive from the beach but people like to put these bright colors with a bit of blue in on their walls um, apparently here so okay that's gone a bit funny isn't it but what I'm doing is oh, sticking paint I've got underneath is I'm going to just tilt this around so it well covers all of the canvas so it's just taking your time um, just so it's covering all the every bit and also the idea is with my particular pores is I love the colors to run over each other so if I decide to do a balloon kissing or rolling then all those colors are like pre-mixed underneath and they all show up when you've done the uh, balloon work which if anyone's seen my videos that um, just makes the colors look pretty stunning when they're brought up with a balloon balloon kissing so if you haven't already seen balloon kissing videos of mine please look for them on my uh, YouTube channel on my page itself it's got the uh, video library at the top I believe <coughs> okay so just gently tilting as you've seen me do don't worry too much about right on the corners because you've got enough paint that's run off to just finger pop run your fingers underneath and use it on your corners it's absolutely fine it doesn't look it looks perfect and it's something that you can do afterwards like don't so don't stress over um, tilting colors over the end and absolutely don't stress about using your finger to pop them so what is she going to use to bring that all together so I'm going to give you a hard attack now I'm going to use Okay, okay, I'm gonna use purple. I'm gonna use the purple to um, do the swipe with. So don't have a heart attack right now. Because um, what's she doing? What's she doing? Just put it on the very tip up there. Probably don't need as much as what I've put there, but I might do one small line through and just start your line that's all just because it's a bit further to come all the way down okay. now I will use my plastic file divider and I just have to check that this video hasn't stopped because my memory to my camera saying it's full 
but I have bought extra memory to send it to the cloud, but I don't know what's supposed to automatically go to the cloud, but to leave room on my camera, but it's not doing that. If you can hear that noise in the background, like that tutting, that's the gecko we have in here. It's night, uh, coming up to just getting dark in Australia and um, like tea time, dinner time or whatever you call it in each of your um, countries and uh, they come out onto the walls like this is in the garage so they can get onto the walls in the garage and they go around and eat any mosquitoes or bugs or um, spiders so I don't mind them at all I think they're called geckos. Yeah, little geckos. So, that, look at the cells popping up now with the one, like triple rings and quadruple. That looks really mysterious. Okay, the butane torch, uh, my big, my big butane uh, torch so you can use a smaller one if you're a beginner and some pores are definitely would suit the this is the cream brulee it's a chef's one but it's still got you fill it up with gas just the same but i don't very often use that now but um it has been suggested by somebody that i do use that more often it will give me a different kind of cell but um, I just think each to your own and I like I like my big bugger <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry about that but all right yeah. looks a bit of a fierce flame but I don't run out because I haven't got another one I need to go get another cylinder some more cylinders I mean they sell these butane cylinders for about I don't know you get about six or ten for ten dollars how good do those look in that dark purple now I wish I'd put some more purple in down here but that looks stunning there coming up in the dark purple doesn't look it looks a little bit wishy-washy but as I'm talking I can see the brightness popping through but what I will do is I'm going to leave this now for about 30 to 40 minutes I will come back and I want to do some balloon work in it to bring up all those gorgeous cells so I'll just give it a tester and show you hopefully show you the difference what the balloon work looks like if I do it now when the paint is this wet um, sometimes it does work if you haven't got too much paint on your canvas I know there's lots of people are messaging me that are having so much trouble getting your balloon rolling and kissing it squishes um, but yeah I think it's just and it's just really is practice makes perfect it is it's just practice and finding what works best for you so I'll give it a go and see how Ooh, actually that looks quite nice you know what I'm gonna carry on and balloon balloon it because I'm supposed to go in and have my dinner oh look at that it's like a underwater like a coral I think I will call this one my coral reef that's so bright and beautiful Oh, look at those balloon rolls. It's feathering. It's bringing all the beautiful colours that I've put in. Now this is showcasing them. Just give it a kiss. So somebody's asked me, it's just look, you just don't be afraid of pushing it. So push it and just bring it out. If you find you see it's closing in, leave it because it's that's too wet. But in this particular style that also creates a lovely wispy effect that still creates a nice look so it's not too bad at all but yeah look now these cells are coming up brighter these are so nice so I just give them just see what we get 
Oh, oh my God. Look at these. That is beautiful. Really lovely. Okay. So your roll is, you're holding your balloon at the top, squidgy, so you can get a really good grip on it. Uh, wipe it, wipe it, try and wipe as much paint off in between so you won't muddy up your colours. Press it and a wrist action, sort of around like that. Don't worry too much about the edges because you can fix those up afterwards. But look at that. That is definitely Australian coral reef because I have dived on the reef and gone uh, on a dive on the reef and the colours. I, it was just like turning a colour TV on in front of my eyes. The colours that appeared before me when I was um, on the, you know, under the water. Uh, did I snore? I actually snorkeled on the reef. That was it. I did do a dive, but um, scuba dive, but absolutely scared the life out of me but the snorkeling the colors just like somebody turning on a color tv in front of your eyes and this is how oh my goodness stunning it's beautiful okay i'm gonna leave you with that i will do a close-up and i'm gonna leave that to dry that's definitely a australian coral reef pour Definitely. I'll give you a close-up. Hope that you like it. Oh my goodness, that is so nice. Shall I take the camera off here? And a wall. I'm going to take the camera off this stand. Sorry, my camera went off. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because it keeps telling me that my storage is full, but it's on at the moment. So I've just brought it down over the piece um, that I've just finished. Sort of try and get you to have a good look at these creatures that appear before your eyes <laughs> in your paws. But yeah, it's a gorgeous stunner. My coral reef pour. Yep, all the colours that you see on the coral reef. So really happy with that. Really, really happy with that. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching my videos. And thanks so much for subscribing. Your legends. Thank you.